Bentornati. Welcome back to the Flying Psalm YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk all things wine and food pairing, Italian edition. If you're just joining my YouTube channel and you don't know much about me, my friends will tell you I love Italian food and I love Italian wine. Today we're going to kind of talk about two delicious dishes. One dish from the north of Italy, it is a beautiful risotto with radicchio and some gargonzola uh, cheese with a little bit of Mars Capone. And then we have a more Tuscan dish in the center of Italy, we have a beautiful tagliatelle pasta with a nice ragu sauce and in the ragu we have some veal, we have some pork and we actually have some bison. So we're going to kind of talk about how do we pair wine with food. Obviously we do have two Italian dishes. We clearly have two Italian wines. We have a beautiful Barolo, a beautiful Brunello, but I'm also going to talk about how we can perhaps pair some white wines and wines from different countries into your dishes. So first of all, when it comes to growing, uh, pairing wine with food, I always like to say what grows together goes together. You're doing Italian food, have an Italian wine. You're having a French dish, have a French wine. You're doing a New York strip, pair it with a California Napa Cab. What grows together goes together is one of the best food and wine pairing knowledges, uh, pieces of advice I've ever been given. First of all, let's talk about where risotto's from. Typically risotto's in the north of Italy in Piemonte. So I decided to say what grows together goes together. We have a risotto and a red wine sauce. Let's grab a red wine from Piemonte. This is a beautiful Barolo by Ravetta. North, 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 Northern dish, Northern wine. Then of course we have a classic Tuscan tomato sauce, ragu, an Italiatelli bed of pasta. What better than a Brunello di Maltocino from Tuscany. So again, we're kind of going Northern Italy, Central Italy, pairing with wines that are uh, applicable. How come we also have a white wine with this first dish? Well, this is a bit of a challenging dish to pair. If this was a uh, meat risotto, okay, let's say there was lots of different um, pork or uh, roasted venison or different meats in this risotto, pairing it with a Barola would be nice and easy. Red meat, red wine, risotto from Piemonte, and of course we have a nice Piemonte wine. But the problem is, is that this is a bit of a tough risotto to pair because this risotto doesn't have any meat, it's vegetarian. And although it's in a red wine sauce, it has some gorgonzola white cheese with uh, radicchio. So this is a lighter, kind of a challenging pairing. It could go white wine, it could go red. I've actually decided to say, I think there's two wines that would go well. We have a beautiful Pascal Clement Chardonnay from Burgundy, France. I think that's going to go really well. It's an earthy, balanced delicious complex Chardonnay, matches some of the white cheese notes, kind of works well. But then of course we also have classic red wine sauce, risotto uh, with a Barolo. But we'll taste shortly and we'll see if that, that works out. Let's dive in because you can only talk about food and wine so much. Eventually you just have to start eating. I absolutely love the richness, the full bodiedness, that richness of that gorgonzola cheese. But let's see which wine pairs better. I definitely like the gorgonzola cheese with the white wine. It's kind of an earthy white truffle white mushroom. I think that works quite well. And even though it's done in a red sauce, because that gorgonzola cheese is kind of a potent cheese, I think the Chardonnay or a nice burgundy Chardonnay actually works quite well, even though of course we're mixing French and Italian. But let's see if we can get the red wine sauce to match our Barolo uh, flavors. They both work so well. But you can kind of see how this is a bit of a challenging pairing. Red sauce risotto, red wine, but with a white powerful cheese burgundy. Honestly, they both work, but if I were to pick a winner, what grows together goes together. You're in Piemonte, drink Piemontese wine. Okay, and now we're on to dish number two. I mean, when it comes to Tuscany, my heart lies in Tuscany. Tuscan food, Tuscan wine, the sights of Florence. I mean, this is just my happy place. When my partner and I go for dinner, we love our local little place, Mangia Bevy. That's where this pasta comes from, by the way. Homemade with love, fresh from Italy. Um, 
Let's have a taste and see if this Brunello Maltuccino works. Those red sauce flavors, the richness of the meat, uh, three meats, so you know it's delicious. Um, that's a really savory, rich ragu, but let's see if it goes well with the wine. The red sauce flavors, the red fruit flavors of the wine, it really works quite well. They're not overpowering each other. If we were to have like a Napa Cab, black fruit flavors that are really strong would overpower the dish. But kind of like a medium plus bodied wine, medium plus bodied dish. This is not a T-bone steak on a plate. We don't need a T-bone steak wine. Perfect dish, perfect wine. What grows together goes together. The Sangiovese grapes or the Bonello clone of Sangiovese grapes are grown in Tuscany. Right where, of course, we have our tomatoes, our pasta. It just really works quite well. And it can't, you can't go wrong with some focaccia bread too. A beautiful, light doughy bread, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, toasted. I mean, you can, you can enjoy Olive Garden breadsticks all you want. I'll stick with my focaccia. I hope you learned a little something today on the art of pairing food with wine. I know we only kind of talked a little bit about Italian food and Italian wines today. I mean, we did have a French wine, but the art of pairing wine with food is just so vast. This is what I would encourage you to do. Grab some good wine, grab some good food, play around a little. Worst case scenario, you say it doesn't, you don't like it, switch it out for a different wine. This food smells so amazing. I'm so thirsty, I'm so hungry, but I can't finish today without thanking, of course, our uh, wine, our featured wine supplier, uh, this beautiful Chardonnay, this beautiful Barolo, and this beautiful Brunello de Maltuccino from Tuscany. All three of these wines are available from Le Sommelier, that uh, a beautiful family-run kind of bespoke wine agency here in Toronto. There is a promo code for your first order and those that live in the GTA in Ontario. You can order any of these wines right to your front door. You can also pick up these beautiful Zalto glassware. We ship Zalto across the country. You don't need to be Ontario. And last but not least, I have to thank Eleonora from Mangia Bevy. Beautiful risottos, beautiful pastas, her pizzas to die for. If you're in Toronto, head to Riverside, check out Mangia Bevy. You'll probably see me sipping Barolo at the bar. Cheers.